Hi friends, I hope you're well. Today, we're going to read a book called The Big Concert. Pang the Cicada is very excited. The first day of the dry season is nearly here, and that means the Cicada Village will hold a concert for the whole forest. This time, Pang has been chosen to be conductor, and he has a lot to do. Everything will be fine, he says to himself, but he can't help feeling a little anxious. He is not used to taking charge. First, he must make sure that everyone knows what to sing at the concert. Low voices sing one way, and high voices sing another way. Some cicadas are flexible and can sing low and high, but are confused as to which they are best at. Pang has to help them figure out which one it is. Sometimes he finds it hard to get them to listen to him. One cicada is singing too softly. You have to make sure you can be heard by the whole forest, Pang says to him. How else will they know that the dry season is here? I will do my best and sing louder at the concert, Pang, says the other cicada. I believe you, and if everyone puts their maximum effort in, it will be a great day, replies Pang. Days pass and the weather gets drier and warmer. It is time for the last rehearsal before the day of the concert. Pang asks that all cicadas in the choir come to the stage. He's very anxious because he is not sure if they have listened to him about practicing. Have they put the maximum amount of practice in and will they sing well? The practice starts and the cicadas begin to sing. Everyone has put in a lot of work and everyone knows their parts. The low voices sing low and the high voices sing high. They have listened to my advice, says Pang, a little surprised. But I hope that the concert goes well on the day. That night, Pang is still a little anxious. He thinks about all the work they have put in so far. The concert stage is prepared and all the insects of the forest are coming. But what if they do not listen to the concert? Is Pong a strong enough leader? And will he conduct the choir well? The first day of the dry season has come. The sky is clear and the weather is warm. All the insects have come from their villages all over the forest. They heard that there is a new conductor this year and have not heard this choir before. I hope the cicadas put on a good show, says a beetle. Pang and the cicada choir fly out to the stage. The choir opens their songbooks and Pang lifts his baton. One, two, three, sing, Pang shouts, and the concert begins. The cicadas sing and their voices, low and high, carry out to the village and the whole forest. Because of their hard work, they sing their parts very well. But then, Pang gets hit with something wet and feels a bit of anxiety. It has started to rain. That can't be right, whispers one of the cicadas on stage. It's the dry season now. How can it be raining during our concert? The cicadas are worried and their voices start to wobble. Pang looks up at the sky and sees that there are not many clouds and the rain will soon pass. But the insects in the forest are anxious and are starting to panic and find shelter. This is going to be a disaster if no one takes charge, Pang says to himself. He does not want the hard work of his cicada choir to be wasted. Insects of the forest, listen to me, he calls out. Everyone on the stage and in the forest turns to him. The rain is not heavy and will be over soon, he says. The dry season is here and the concert will continue. The insects of the forest stop panicking and cheer. Now everyone, sing it again from the beginning, 
Tang says, and waves his baton. With Pang in charge, the concert is a big success. The first day of the dry season is here, and the whole forest starts to dance and have fun. Thanks for helping us get through that rough patch, one of the cicadas says to Pang later. This is the best concert to ever exist, and it is all thanks to you. Next year's concert will be even better, Pang says, blushing. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I'll see you in the next video.